Welcome, this is going to be the penultimate video in the Sparsec rudder build. Uh, in this particular video you'll see how I bond the leading edge on and do the glass fibre work uh, around that leading edge. Uh, there is one or two little bits which uh, I'll point out. The fact I, that the foam leading edge uh, that I received was slightly too short by about 8 to 10 millimetres. So I cut the bottom section off that to do the bottom of the rudder uh, while waiting for a section of foam uh, to complete the upper. In this video you see the upper being fitted and uh, hopefully uh, completed, ready for uh, varnishing and then priming, uh, which is the state which I'm going to uh, leave and complete the rudder in in the next video. And I'll, in the next video, I will also give a review of what I thought about the Sparsec rudder kit. And we'll see what goes from there. Let's get on and watch the video. Okay then, so state of play. Just about to do the uh, bonding of the leading edge on. I've run resin along this leading edge here and then wiped off the excess instead of having uh, varnish on here. Uh, and I've mixed up some micro balloon and I'm now going to butter up bits and pieces so okay we'll go a little bit faster uh, I'm just applying the uh, mayonnaise consistency micro balloon it's it's not a dry mix it's it's a relatively wet mix uh, straight onto the foam and uh, of course it's going to bond onto the resin which has already been applied to the plywood. Once I've got it stuck down into position like that I'm using the tape just to hold everything central uh, and also to sort of squeeze out some of the excess. This is the uh, replacement chunk of foam I got that was just a rectangle and I had to uh, shape that. Uh, it's quite roughly shaped but it'll sand down nice and easily held in place by tape and here I am just going down removing the uh, squeezed out micro balloon from the sides. Uh, I've bonded this on as, it, as you've seen. I'm now just going to uh, sand this down. The tape is here which I use right up against the, the joint uh, line double layer that is to stop the, the resin from being on the plywood which would be number one but also number two I can now sand down to that which will get rid of uh, the excess resin and uh, micro balloon and get this in line that way and then from there I'll use a long block to uh, sort out the other bits so we'll just get started so uh, a little bit of time lapse from that. So as you're just sanding down using the tape as a guide uh, and then I use a long block which is really just a piece of aluminium uh, U section uh, with uh, 60 grit uh, on one side and uh, 180 grit on, on the other. I, I do feather in down to the same level as the uh, plywood, the, the very edge, uh, so that the glass fibre will actually wrap down and back up again so there's no step. Sand it down, blown clean. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put a very dry micro balloon mix on to the uh, leading edge just to fill in any imperfections and uh, just to give it a slightly harder, harder finish um, stopping soft uh, pure resin from soaking into any depth and making it heavy uh, and then that will be easily sanded just to make sure we've got the final profile right and uh, from there we will be able to uh, progress on to uh, doing the glass fibering so as you can sort of see a really dry mix just being used there just to just to help fill that in I, I won't bore you with looking at me icing the cake again what, what I've been doing I'm just 
got the masking tape down 11 mil from the edge I've already uh, applied resin to one side I've cut the uh, fiberglass so that it's oversize and the masking tapes 11 mil from the edge of the, uh, ply the spa line itself uh, that's to allow me to sand it down and then we'll have the 10 mil uh, requirement of overlap it's 45 degrees this uh, fiberglass and this is the first layer second layer will be going on straight over the top of this overly wetted uh, layer which I'm putting on at the moment if I can just keep the resin on the fiberglass and not onto my workbench that'd be good Now you only just apply enough because you've got to cut it at 45 degrees. Just going to lay straight on to that. Make sure that it's. Oops, just give it that bristle. Bristle in there. Takes a little bit of work to get it to go into place. pushing that, make sure the uh, fiberglass is correctly centred, put the uh, strand of fiberglass there going over the top, don't want that, Just making sure all the air is forced out, going down far enough and it's all completely wetted anywhere that I suspect I can put a little bit of extra on The art is to have enough resin to bond the fibres, but not excess resin because that's brittle. So, this is uh, to remove the excess resin. I just damp Dab. the tissue over. 
forcing the uh, fibre onto the surface and removing the excess resin. Yeah, and you should have a nice satin finish. Any gloss shows excess resin. Going back to the, uh, the rudder, I've trimmed down here along the edge of the fibreglass uh, and the tape line that I had uh, with a sharp scalpel while the fibreglass was still green, partially cured and uh, now what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to get rid of these edges here and the way I do that is I just use uh, sandpaper and just run it around the edge there. I don't cut it with a knife or anything like that, I just literally just sand it. And that will get rid of the edge really quite nicely. A good method I've found in the past working with models. Gentle sand. And that gets rid of that. You don't you don't have any uh, sort of sharp edges really that, that, that are uh, you sometimes get. I'll just go around it with a slightly finer sandpaper just to put a very slight chamfer. But we don't have any hairs on there. I'll do the same at the other end. Well, I've trimmed it, quite harsh, so I'm putting tape down to protect the plywood when I do the sanding. So, just use a, uh, a fine board, and I'll just go uh, along that edge there. That just gets rid of that little lip of fiberglass that's there. I've created quite a stiff paste mix there. This is going to go onto the leading edge uh, to, to feather bits in, and most of it's going to get scraped off uh, off here. So. Uh, Hopefully, if I move this across, check, yeah you can see, see it's a really stiff mix so all I'm, all I'm doing is I'm rubbing it in across and the idea is it's going to fill in all any grain that's on that uh, on that fiberglass so it's all done and I'll also do the uh, the edges where the fillets go so in here we get that uh, transition going across where the plywood was tapered to allow for the skins and everything else here was sort of tapered down to that so it builds up the fiberglass but there'll be a small step there so this should get rid of that step so that once it's painted it will not be visible at all Uh, I've already gone along and taken off the worst of it with the long board uh, using uh, the 180 uh, grit on the long board to just get get the shape uh, sort of feathered in and uh, now it's just a case of 
feathering in the edges here with, uh, as I said, the 400 grit. And hopefully we end up with a nice smooth transition and uh, we should be able to uh, get on to do some varnishing. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. You can subscribe or even hit the little bell notification for future videos. Any comments would be appreciated and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Remember, go fly and feel the sky.